Hi, I'm Lisa Lanskowski from AICHE's Foundation as the Director of Corporate Relations, and I'm thrilled to be sitting with my guest, Dimitri, who just gave our annual student conference keynote to quite a large crowd, and um, I just wanted to welcome you. Thank and, you. And thank you for, for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. This morning, you gave a wonderful keynote that um, spoke to the students about three major areas, curiosity, being courageous, and colorful. Can you tell us a little bit about you know, what those themes you know, mean to you and, and in your talk, you know, what kind of message do you hope to leave the students with? Topic. Yeah, I guess uh, these three C's are the taglines for Covestro um, that truly guide uh, our strategy and our values as a company, our culture. Uh, but in reality, these should resign very well with all the students because courage should be um, all about speaking up. Um, it has a diversity aspect to it. You see something wrong, speak about it. Uh, but also it has to deal with uh, said the unsaid and push the boundaries uh, within the company. Uh, the, cu the, the curiosity part um, is truly within the DNA, and DNA, I would say, with every chemical engineer. We are thriving to understand things and always qu a question why not, why we cannot really push the boundaries and do something be better, faster, cheaper, safer more sustainable. The colorful is very interesting as a part of the, uh, and very sometimes very difficult to understand, but um, what we mean by that is basically the diversity of thought, that we really embrace the diversity of thought, which definitely is the driver for our innovation. We want to be surrounded with people uh, that they have diverse opinions, and people who speak their minds and collaborate, create conflict, and create energy at the same time. That's a very valuable point, Dimitri, of you know, bringing different thoughts and um, ideas you know, to the table, and that being an underpinning you know, of Kovestro's philosophy of how you, know, you go forward with, um, with innovation. You know, one of the things I thought was really interesting in your talk was that chemical engineering doesn't um, go too far from the family. Um, you or your son actually is studying chemical engineering um, at Columbia and um, you know if you were to sort of give some advice to uh, new students entering and embarking on their careers, what are some of the skills um, that you sort of you know look for or can offer advice to to young students of Bargain Nicker that you know really have helped you along the way or sort of inspired your own son for example in chemical engineering yeah well I try uh, to send that kind of a message through my speech today uh, when I was talking especially about uh, uh, differences generations and the fact that every generation has to deal with change so we dealt with it, they are dealing. So what I'm saying to my son, and also to all the students uh, or the newcomers at work, is we all have to deal with the change all the time, um, but we all have something in common. We all have to adapt, work hard, and try to concentrate and, and develop the soft skills. Uh, knowing your subject is okay, and of course it's an expectation from every company that you understand the basis, of, the basis of the chemical engineering, but we don't expect from you, from a student, from my son, to know everything. So ask questions, be relaxed. Uh, people like myself with so many years of experience, we love to tell stories, we love to tell why things did not work, why things work, but we're also very curious to hear from the younger generation what they think about. What are they going to bring to the table? So social skills is essential, and communication, uh, respectfulness, ability to deal with uh, um, ambiguity, and from all of that is, I would say, I will emphasize respect and networking. 
So it's interesting you hit on a, um, this, this word respect and this idea of being inclusive. Um, and, you know, I'm curious your thoughts on, you know, ways that um, others and, and at Kavesto, you sort of use that idea of, you know, bringing more voices and different voices to the table um, and helping, you know, really kind of advance um, the profession and innovation. Yeah. Well, um, basically we're talking about uh, diversity and inclusion. And at Covestro we say that um, uh, diversity is uh, our strength, uh, inclusion is our commitment, and innovation basically is our direction. But besides these taglines and uh, this kind of thinking, uh, we have to face reality. I mean, for me, I would have loved to see this generation basically to, when they think in terms of diversity, really concentrate in, in terms of diversity of thought of an opinion, which is pretty much the utopia, let's say, of a perfect culture. Um, we want to make sure that we uh, develop our leaders, uh, that they have this kind of attitudes, that they truly embrace diversity and inclusion, and they are not just doing it because this is the policy. And in, in, in reality, we have um, many programs that are going on in order, in order to show action. One of them is uh, full participation in STEM educational programs that Covestro is uh, very much uh, embracing and active. Uh, we also have another program that is called SEEDS. Uh, this is where we bring high school students uh, in the area um, from disadvantaged uh, communities and we bring them, bring them into our labs and they actually have a, a hands-on connection to the research that we're doing mm -hmm. and they bring a lot to the table. This is a truly success story, uh, at least uh, for Covestro dealing with the SIDS program. Another one we have is um, the Green Light for Girls. This is a global initiative where basically many of our own scientists, uh, they have workshops with the young ladies uh, all over the world in a very interactive, a fun way to show to them what science is all about. So these are some of the examples sure. that we show action to do better in the area of uh, diversity. Dimitri, thank you so much. Again, Dimitri is the Senior Vice President at Covestro, and uh, we are so privileged to be with you here today and have our students actually hear you speak um, at what was really a remarkable keynote, and I'm sure left them feeling very inspired um, so. as they embark on their, their careers. So thank I'm you very much. I'm honored to be here.